hope she makes you smile The way you made me smile On the other end of a phone In the middle of a highway Driving alone, oh baby I, I hope you hear a song That makes you sing along And get you thinking about her Then the last several miles turn into a blur, yeah And now it's time to get to know Gabby Barrett. You've done a lot of touring, which is crazy. How did that work as an, like an 11 year old going on tour? Me and my dad had kind of just talked and, you know, said there's no plan A, B or C. Like, so 11, I started performing everywhere. Like I sang at literally grocery stores, like where there was three people in the little cafe section over on the side with a black speaker and like a at a mic stand with like hot pink tape on it trying to create a brand for myself and so from 11 to 16 I just did that all the time I did not like I missed high school dances I missed all that stuff which I'm happy for because you know I wouldn't be here where I am today without it and so I did all of that during 11 to 16 and then 17 I got scouted to be on idol by a producer and then and then two years later now we're talking so <laughs> i just think that is so cool for not only me to hear it gets me like excited when i hear you talk about you being an 11 year old singing at a grocery store in front of people that are just trying to get their bananas and apples like i love that because that's what it takes like that's yes. honestly what it takes and to do any of those big dream things in life it's years of work behind the scenes but i i really feel like if you can perform and be confident in a situation like a grocery store or a college cafeteria, like these situations that you're like, this is not where you normally see a performer. And I don't feel a hundred percent comfortable because they're not even paying attention. If you can still put on 
a confident performance somewhere like that, there is nothing better to prepare you for a situation like being on stage in American Idol or being on stage in front of thousands of people right. because then suddenly you're supposed to be there. So I'm curious, have you gotten any <laughs> amazing advice or maybe what's one of the biggest things you've learned from some of the people you've worked with? Actually, still going back, one of the best pieces of advice that I've gotten was actually from Carrie Underwood because a lot of people would just try and compare me to Carrie and be like, oh, you have blonde hair and you, you have a big voice and, and you sing country music and you sound like her a little bit and, and all of this stuff. And so I actually asked her, I said, what do you, what kind of advice could you give to me for people that continuously try to compare me to trying to be like you? And she said, look, you have, she said, you have blonde hair and I have blonde hair. She said, you have a big voice and I have a big voice, but there's obviously something different about your voice than mine. She was like, you definitely have more rasp and you have like, uh, I can really hear the R and B really come out of your voice when you sing. And she was like, there's definitely a difference there. People are always going to have something to say and just don't pay any mind to it. Um, and she said, and I think you're going to do fine after American Idol, you know, ends and everything like that. So it was just very, it was very sweet to hear that from her when of course getting compared to her is a compliment. Um, but it was very sweet to hear that kind of advice um, from the person that people are comparing me to. So she was very sweet yeah. about it and it made a hundred percent me and it helped me. So talk about validation. I feel like there's something about the entertainment industry where everybody has to like put a label on things like you're in this category of music or you're this kind of singer or you're like that person. Like, I don't know why this industry tries to put people in boxes so hard. I'm like, they can't label you. Then they almost freak out because they don't know what to call you so it's like in that perspective there's almost no way to win so the only way to win is just like you said like carrie said like own that you are your own thing like of course you're going to compare me because you, you don't know what else to do but i know that i have something special and you know that you have a unique voice and that's why people gravitate to it not because it sounds like something they already had otherwise they just go listen to carrie underwood's next song like obviously right. there's something right. so special yeah. about about you and about every single person. I think that's, that's beautiful that you kind of made that decision. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna let them tell me what I am. Like, that's beautiful. One, one last thing I want to talk about um, is you speak really openly about the fact that you were bullied in high school. And I think that's really courageous of you. And how do you use these experiences that you went through to now speak to someone now who might be going through something similar? Going through school, I had a lot of trouble with girls. Um, there was just always a lot of trouble. I mean, I can remember from it actually being fifth grade all the way through high school. And um, it's just girls can be very mean. Jealousy is a real thing. Meanness is a is a real, real thing. And um, I just always use it as a positive. Um, learned from my dad. He just said to always um, use, use that to kind of fire you and fuel you to keep going and, and, you know, chasing after everything. And he said to me, um, the eagle flies alone and the pigeons flock together. And, and that was just something that was very helpful at the time of being in high school and feeling, you know, like, why doesn't anybody like me? Why are girls saying that I'm this and that? And I haven't even talked to them before in my life. And, and I mean, it even happened on American Idol. It's just something that you have to go through with life. And I'm sure you understand that as a girl, um, how that goes. And it stinks, but you just really got to think positively about it and um, not find your identity in other people. So mic drop. You just said so many good things in the last 30 seconds. Wow. I feel like sometimes women feel like there's only so many seats at the table, whether it's so many seats at the popular table in high school, <laughs> or whether it's there's only so many seats for women in touring, like whatever it is, there's this mentality that if someone else is doing it, that means there's no room for you. And that's not the case. The things that you're saying are helping other people realize that there's, there's so many seats at the table. We don't have to be mean to each other to hold on to our own. No, we can sit in our chair and pull out one for somebody else to sit down to. Thank you so much for coming on today, everybody. June 19th, Gabby Barrett's album comes out. So make sure to pick it up. And I hope we get to meet in person because I really think we'd be really good friends. Absolutely. I would love to meet you in person. Thank you so much for having me on this. And I wish you the best with everything. 
Hey, thanks for watching. And thank you so much to Gabby Barrett for coming on today. Also, guys, support her. She's freaking awesome. Her music is so good. So go pre-save her album. It'll be in, in the description links. And also, please stay tuned for another string session next week. Lindsay Sterling, signing out.